Paper Scissors. No, I really have no song. I just had that. And see, the ironic part about that is, I did it in 10th grade. 11th grade, I played, I played basketball, I hooped and shit. So Pimper <coughs> played basketball too. So Pimper beat on Locker, and I, I say I do the verse, because mm-hmm. he want no beat. You know, producers and shit, I told you, I just did this shit off, on the, off, my, off my mind. I ain't right. got no beat in there. So Pimper do it, everybody, all, all the players rap that shit like Sunset Park. Everybody rapping that shit, singing all the lyrics, yeah. the whole verse. 12th grade, Pimp ended up moving, going to another school. So I ain't seen him for a whole year. Buddy and two of my homeboys from my project in Ball Home graduated before me. They was the one to tell me, probably they need to come to school. I'm like, hell, no, I ain't going no motherfucking fuck that shit, bro. I'm, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They were like, bro, you ain't doing shit anyway. You might as well. So you know how when you go to school, at the end of the school year, you, you go to school and you put in for all your um, all your scholarships, everything that roll over for your next, you, you know, you pick your class, whatever class you want to take next semester. So they were doing that. They said, ride with us. I said, if y'all niggas smoke some weed with me. So, and these niggas don't, don't know I smoke weed. So I've been smoking weed since, I, I've been smoking weed forever. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm high as hell, basketball guy, I gotta smoke. I went to Timmy D, Drow Sacks. This, the niggas still smoking mid then. This is mid days. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I only got, I went and got, I spent $100 and got 10 Drow Sacks from Timmy D. We smoked that shit, bro. I swear to God, we rode all the way to the beginning of North Carolina. No music, ain't nobody said nothing. Niggas just high. <laughs> Do the orientation shit. I got weed on me. I got sacks on me. A little weed bomb. Every HBCU is on the motherfucking projects in the projects. Yeah. Every single one of them bitches. It's about literally. Yeah. So a nigga asked me, bro, you got some weed? I said, hell yeah, I got some weed. I get a nigga Nick, he give me $10. And I put my bum in my pocket, he walk off on me. No, oh, shit, fuck that, hell no. But I thought about it. Asked my homie, I said, hey man, what the hell are these is up here? He said, these dying, bro. Niggas ain't got any with green weed. He was like, but niggas ain't got no shit like this. But I one of them filled out for every motherfucker goddamn scholarship I could. That's how I got to school. So when I so in the end of the summertime, beginning of the semester, when you go orientation, I'm walking down the sidewalk and I hear a beat playing out the door. So now every time I hear a beat, I'm rapping this song. But ain't no instrumentals though. If you hear instrumental, it's somebody's song for real. Right. Like you know what niggas ain't my ten ain't no producers. Ain't no free beats in there. Right. I'm like, ooh, shit. I walk in all the way in the room when I walk in there, bitch, it's pimp. I ain't seen pimp in a whole year. Damn. I'm like, you remember that song? He like, hell yeah. And I rapped that shit right there. First day of school. And nigga, 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 niggas like shit. They been it over it. I never went to no class. I rap every day and trap every day in school. That's it. So all I did. With scholarship money. Yeah. But you know, I graduated with a good grade point average because I had to go to night school my whole 12th grade year too. So my whole 12th grade year I went to school from 8 in the morning to 8 at night. Yeah. Damn. God damn. Yeah. 8 in the morning? Yeah. You know, school, cause you know school started at 8 in the morning, but we got out like 3.30. Yeah. And then I got to go to Washington. My class, first class started at 4 o'clock. And then and night class is two hours. And then we were so fucked up about it. My homeroom, my first period teacher at Doug was my first class period teacher in night school. So if I didn't go to school, if I didn't go to day school, I could go to night school. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but you keep missing days, you keep fucking up your school, your ass ain't graduate. And I'm like, hell no, nah, <coughs> you ain't finna fuck that. I gotta graduate. I ain't gonna be the stupid nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I end up, I end up graduating with a high grade point average. So I, I uh, qualified for like the UNCF scholarship. You know what I'm saying? United Negro College Fund scholarship. Oh, just a few little, you know what I'm saying? And they paid for all my classes. As long as I kept a good grade, you roll over to the next semester. You know what I'm saying? Right. Shit, but I don't know how I kept rolling. I don't know shit. You know what I mean? (laughs) Smoke some weed and rap it. (coughs) For real, for real. Paid off? Yeah, yeah, Yeah. paid off. For real, for real. Nigga didn't know that was my song. My little brother was rapping and didn't know it was me. Cause nobody knew I rap. I didn't pass out no CDC. Pimp did all that shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I was just doing that shit cause shit was fun to do. And shit, I was at school. I was in North Carolina, I don't know nobody. Yeah. But I'm in there with a whole bunch of Atlanta niggas though. Niggas from Bar Home, niggas from the Temp, niggas from Kirkwood, niggas from Edwood, niggas from Zone 3, niggas. <laughs> like, niggas like, but how the f- I asked my partner the other day, I asked my partner Crow. Nigga, how the fuck did you get to college, nigga? And nigga said, same way you got there. Chrome, <laughs> <laughs> that Chrome? Yeah. No, not Chrome. Chrome. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, right. yeah. That's 
That's wild, Motherfucker got those scholarships and came up there with that goddamn good ass. Goddamn mm, good ass bright meat. green. Yeah. Bright green. I remember yeah. that shit. When ounces were there, then $50 yeah, and yeah. shit. That's what they want. <laughs> and you get the register, you get the good green register for $25 ounce. I would tell yeah, you ass yeah. up, bro. Fucking them up, yeah. bro. Ain't bullshit. So then, I, I, like I said, after all that shit happened in the song, that shit just started rolling. Then by the time I came back home, shit, I had two popping songs in the club. You see what I'm saying? And then I started selling two for fives. Mm -hmm. Two for fives. Two for fives. First nigga in the city of Atlanta to sell two for fives. I have a two for five trap. Let me say that. I'm the first nigga in the city to have a two for five trap. Everybody know it. That's how everybody know me before the music. Niggas know me from that. So then by the time White T got big and then we all on the radio and shit, nigga was like, nigga, this you, nigga? I was like, yeah. Nigga like, nigga, what you doing this for? Nigga, you rich. That when I knew, niggas thought that everybody they see on TV rich. Oh, yeah. Nah, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Nah, for real. Nah, that shit was, she was hell of a ride, nigga. Fast, too. She pulled up like a roller coaster. We was in the sky. Two hits on. Fast. With a nigga, with a nigga trap. With a nigga, two for two five. Two for five trap. Mm -hmm. See, the shit was so crazy, bro. When YT got big and we would do, we would do shows and shit, bro. You know, it gets like $1,000, $1,500, you know, when we first started out. But I would never go to the shows with no money. You know what I'm saying? So them niggas come to going home. Pilate, hey, wait, come on, Pilate, let go. I'm like, ah, here I come. I go in the front door and walk out the back door. And I just leave them niggas sitting out there till the nigga pull out. Cause I never wanted to go to the show. So like, I didn't want to leave. You know what I'm saying? Till the niggas start physically <laughs> walking in this motherfucker with me like, nah, Pilate, come on, you come to this shit, bro. Facts. Real trout shit, dog. Man. Hey, big man. You running from this shit. Mm -hmm. You ain't fucking with it for 20 years straight. Man. Come Facts. on, man. Facts. 20 years, man. Yeah. It's really been 20 years, dog. In real life. Strong. Nah, no, for real. Man, we salute it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We salute it. Hey, hey man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yo, let's go. What was that? It was voted most likely to succeed. And it did. Facts. <laughs> Nigga, no. Just like seeing it. your growth, your transformation. Let me you know tell them who we got in here before we even get into all that. Intro. It's one of my real motherfucking monumental. Owners, man, we go way back to. Shit, when I, I was telling them about all the crazy events and nights and shit we had at the strip club, man. Yes. This nigga been fucking with me way back on the comedy. Shit. What more can you say, man? This nigga is a certified ghetto legend. Come on. Certified. Right here from the west side, streets of Atlanta, man. Uh, shit, one fourth. Of the franchise boy. Facts. Come on. She ain't entertaining. Facts. Ten little nigga. Yes, that means. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. None other than Pale. You feel me? Oh. Oh. Oh, hold up, hold up. The real Pale. Yes, that means. Come on. Hey, welcome. I'm welcome. Come on. I'm welcome back too. Welcome yeah. back. Somebody yeah. ate my last shit. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what the fuck happened yeah. to it. Hey, man, you came, what happened? Yeah. I don't know what the hell happened to you it. You came back in the days when we was really trapped out. Nah, for facts. You know, shit, nah, man. Facts. Now you got your own show. Yep. And everything, man. And still shit going crazy, shit, yeah. And still doing the music shit too. In the apartment with Pale. No, no and saying? you got uh one of the coldest little uh little league football. In the uh, nation. Yeah. Teams in the nation. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Who gets shot at that boy Quavo? You know what I'm saying? Huncho Elite shit, man. Shout out to Huncho. Seven on seven, man. If you got a kid and he good, he decent, you want him to soar to the next level, better bring that boy to us. Facts. Right. No, nah, man, it's just good to see your transition, nigga. I, I hosted your uh, welcome home party. Facts, you sure damn did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> big motherfucking facts. <laughs> yeah. Big facts. Yeah, man, and just to see that you, you know, man. I came a long way, dog. A whole, whole man, yeah. motherfuckers always say the shit wrong. He's like, he did a 360. Nah, nigga, this is a did, whole fucking I did 720. Yeah, you feel me? Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony Hawk. I, I, I turned around two times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that shit yeah, I'm just telling my homie now, like, bro, y'all don't know, him? Shit, nah, that nigga was different. 
Parlay with the dreads. Man. Yeah, parlay with the dreads. <laughs> <laughs> that was a whole different nigga. For sure, for sure. But shit, like you were saying, you were never really chasing the music. These things, it just feel like it just lined up, just like destiny. I, I still, like, I riff real now, to this day, I really say that. I'm not a rapper, I just rap. You see what I'm saying? I never had visions of being a rapper. Never wanted to be a rapper. Never seen niggas like, boy, I want to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? I remember one time, bro, we was at the Grammys. All right? And we was doing the red carpet. We had the suits and shit, DLB on it, custom shit and all that shit. But JD was supposed to got down, we had a goddamn, uh, we wouldn't go nowhere without the money. What you talking about? JD said he had, a, he had us uh, walk through, 7,500. I'll never forget this shit, 7,500 walk through. He gonna get his money when we get there. All right, and he play, all right, play with that shit. We got that motherfucker, that nigga that had that money. We rolled all the way to the hotel room, that nigga that had that money. We put them suits on, I walked the red carpet, that nigga that had that money. I told my man Chico, hey, I'm going to the airport. And nigga said, bro, it's the Grammy. I said, what the fuck about no Grammy, bro? I go, I'm gonna go back to Boy Hall, bro. Bacon and popping. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't leave the hood, bro. I like, I think that's really a reason why we never- Cause it wasn't no money? Just cause you, you, you knew- Yeah, that's 7,500. Yeah. Right. I've never tried. That ain't, man. Hey, you knew that, okay, you gotta give me this, cause no, no, this is no, what I'm just, missing. You said that, oh, man, they've been saying that to it's get like say, Yeah, it's like me saying, they ain't coming, goddamn, they got some for nigga, like, we got some for you. Yeah, right. And then you like, but I'ma get to you when, you, when you get there, I got you. And, and then like, you get there. All right, no, nigga, all right. Yeah. And you get there, nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? And I don't even know if he had, he probably still had it for, I don't know. Right. I just said, that's how disconnected I was from music, mm. though. Like, I ain't really, I ain't really care about all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't wait to get back to the hood. You know what I'm saying? Right. I just wanted to tell all the stories what we were just doing, but that shit was lit. And niggas just, you know how it be the old, old folk tales days when niggas tell a story, everybody listen like this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The high walls. But we did this, this nigga did, you know, this back then, niggas ain't seen shit. I know niggas ain't never been <clears throat> past downtown, bro. Right. I know niggas ain't never been to the east side, south side, boy kid, don't know nothing about none of that shit. Right. You see what I'm saying? Now niggas go everywhere, but then niggas won't go on nowhere. So niggas won't hear all that shit. You well, bro. Right. You were fun in New York City in 975. Up there, what you about? Hey, yeah, yeah, bro, what that shit was like? The nigga want to hear that shit. I, I found excitement out of that more than doing it. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Come back telling them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was lit, nigga. Come on, you going next time, let go. Right. Nigga on tour, I took 17 niggas. We ain't had number 12 bed. <laughs> and there's already four of us. And we had four dancers. And two road managers and a DJ. Man, I just told him, nigga, hey, get on the bus. Who going? <laughs> Probably we ain't got no clothes. Fuck all they give you. Who going? <laughs> nigga, every time we stop it, hey, get the mall, hey, get y'all shit. The nigga was like, man, I gotta go home. The nigga drop a white fly. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Looked up, there was six motherfuckers on that bus. Yeah, yeah, nah, about 10. <clears throat> Everybody saying, hey, I'm, I'm gonna catch the Greyhound back to the crib. Nah, they were flying. Nah, you said they were dropping like flies. Yeah, yeah. About to got down. That road life ain't no hoe. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, that shit ain't for everybody, boy. Yeah, nah. Nah, hell no. Nah. Especially probably how y'all was hitting when y'all was shit. Yeah, yeah. That shit was lit. Nigga, y'all was every night somewhere. Yeah, that shit was lit. Nah, I was just talking about that, bro. We tore, we we did a show for three years straight. No break. Damn. And see, like was, you got burnt out on that shit? Yeah, nah. Uh -uh. It's just that if you don't understand the process, you'll get lost in the sauce. Yeah. See, because when a lot of artists, what they don't do, they don't record new music while they doing all these shows and doing all this movie. And then you look up two, three years, the shit you were doing, oh no. Yeah. It's a, it's a new way, new sound. Yeah. It's hard to make another hit. You got to stay on that shit. When you on that motherfucker, you got to keep going like working out and then you work, work out for four, five days and stop. But you ain't going back Right no back more. to it, yeah. Yeah, no. Work out 30 days, you like, but I got to go to the gym in the morning. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's the same thing. And I think that kind of held us back too, cause we ain't really dropping no new music. You know what I'm saying? Niggas just on the road. We ain't know no better. We ain't know none of this shit, bro. We niggas. We don't know nobody got no record label, no deal, had no deal, no none of that shit. We don't see celebrities mm -hmm. like that. Nigga don't come to the west side. Right. Nigga ain't riding through Bar home, bro. I ain't seen right. that shit. So it was fresh for us. You know what I'm saying? And then the label gave us all the money. All of it. Yeah. They ain't control our budget. 
You know, when, you, when the artists get signed, the label control their budget. They control my budget, they give me all the money. Like, you know, I've been on their prize picks for Ooh, real. I don't real. want so much money, but you better get right, right no, now. You, no, because you remember when they was like, you you put a hundred in and then they give you a hundred? Right. I took they hundred and my hundred and then I won a couple hundred. Right. No, but I've been betting on everything on prize picks, bro. That's right. my new that's my new thing. You, you know, know why I like prize picks? Because it's easy. Yeah. And you can get your money. Like, as soon as you win, it ain't that. They wait till the next day. You, they got to see if it goes through. Bro, I picked a play, a parlay, and when my parlay hit, my money hit my account. It like a, like they were waiting on me right. to win. Right. I like that you ain't got to do nothing extra. You you win, you get your money, they ain't even playing. Right. I ain't even going to lie, man. I, I missed a prize fits over all long. No cap. I can see why you would say that. You dig what I'm saying? Don't we got a promo code? Yeah, 85 South. I've been using it like two, three days straight. I've been using it right now. You know what I'm saying? Man, make sure you go to Prize Picks to see if you can win some of this money and some of these parlays because it's coming right back. You can't lose no more than you spend and they're giving away money. Why you don't have it? Come on, I ain't never heard nobody giving away money just so you can bet. Come on, man. They I want give you, you $100 to, to bet, little bro. I, I, that ain't nothing. I hey, got that on me. Man, what you with it? But you got to get what I give you what you get. You feel me? I give you what you get. Feel. Now, if you ain't got nothing, then get. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Press big. 85 mm -hmm. South. Go get it. Hey, what's up? It's your man Carlos Miller. And April 15th, I will be in Nashville at the War Memorial Auditorium. Yeah. Pull up on me. Act like you need me. And holler at the player when you see me. It's going down in Nashville. That's April 15th. Click the link. Get those tickets. I ain't never let you down. Don't you let me down. Sell this shit out. Yeah. Getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially because we're always growing and changing. Therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding. Because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we've talked through things. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, Flexible and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash 85 South today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash 85 South. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash 85 South. Shit. Well, yeah, yeah. I love to see. I love to see black people getting money. Yeah, yeah. Now we told you, but everybody can't do that though. We were hot though. You know what I'm saying? So we could do that. But who getting other money? We had two from, labels. Go from it was zero. between one and the other. Right. The one that was talking the shit we wanted to hear. Yeah. The other one was talking the shit that we didn't want to hear. Been war. But the shit they were saying, the shit that we didn't want to hear, was really the shit that we were supposed to go with. For real, for real. What were they talking? Why you say that? Huh? Where you know, see, at? it came down to it, it came down to Atlantic and Universal. All right, Atlantic wanted to give us two fifty for the album, but they wanted to do two fifty for promotions. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, fuck out! I don't do no hell now. And Universal said we'll give y'all all this shit. I said y'all won. <laughs> this shit was that easy. Y'all won. Right. They took out seventy five thousand. For white tea to do the video and do all the promotion behind it, gave us four hundred twenty-five thousand bank account, and then we spent like thirty, between thirty and forty thousand on the album total. That's mix and master studio time, cause we made all we made done all the beats on it. Mm. Mm. So you ain't had to go buy no. You know what I'm saying? So we just doing nigga shit. But that on, was on top of on top of getting ten thousand to show and goddamn goddamn getting twenty more deposits this week. I don't know, but that shit sound like smart. You think the other route was better, you say? Yeah, yeah, that man, Universal didn't get enough promotion. Because promotion, promotion that we didn't was get so none. So y'all gotta, yeah. We didn't get none. Yeah, the promotion, yeah. they would've made the money on the back end. Yeah, but they would've, would've yeah, been bigger you. than that. Okay, Chicago, okay. Because think, the original White T wasn't never a number one song. Like, it wasn't never a number one song. It never charted number one. Never. It's, as much as influential White T is, it never charted number one. It became a number one single when Travis Scott and Thug just redid it. What? They gave us our third number one single. 
You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. But that's recent. You know, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't you love walking to the mailbox and getting an old fat ass random check? Should the email come first? When well, you had to look and be like, what? Oh, y'all get the email. Oh, y'all get the email first. See, yeah. acting yeah. shit, I just you know show, I, I just find out. Nah, for real, for real. See, and then what niggas gotta understand too is, like, when you talking about this shit, like, the only groups to have more number one singles than Franchise Boys is Beastie Boys and Outkast. Man, that's a hell of a class to be in. Damn. Facts. And we the only group to ever have two number one singles back to back, though. That's hard. Oh, I think they like me and lean with. You know what I'm saying? Back to back. Damn. Back to back. We, don't got, we got a platinum album, platinum singles, like the numbers there. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't, Palmer. Straight out the hood. Straight out the hood. And y'all did and that. Out of the two for five trap. And did that without the promotion budget. Yeah. Shit. Sometimes you yeah. bet on yourself and you win, hey. though. We ain't know no better, bro. We just driven, bro. It's yeah. just, just pure ambition. It's just in God touch. Now y'all niggas gonna be so. Just keep going. You know what I'm saying? But I'm almost making a lot of time. I cook the group two, three times. Shit, I don't know. two, three things happen in the midst of shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't right. overcame some shit even in the midst of that shit. Yeah. Cause like, in the time where we got the two number one singles back to back, like, that was in 2005 and 2006. 2005, I caught a murder charge. 2006, I caught a trafficking charge. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So in the height of my career, I, I'm going through the worst of shit that I can go through. You see what I'm saying? Shit. That's why I look at a lot of shit and be like, bro, niggas don't survive shit that I haven't been through, bro. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, niggas, nigga a warrior, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why I be so cool now. Nigga be like, why I ain't on high on now? I done done all that shit, bro. I know what that shit gonna get, bro. You don't, you can't keep playing with that shit, boy. Hey, you gotta keep playing with that shit, gonna spank your ass. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta tell me. I'm done. Yeah, man. I don't want no beef with nobody. These uh, motherfuckers giving out, not even football numbers no more. These dinosaur numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna 3,060 years. Them niggas gonna, them niggas Consecutive gonna back to back lifetime. Plus, you got five years house arrest when you finish them. Hey, you <laughs> when you die. And you got to pay a million dollar restitution. Oh, <laughs> start today. Shit. Oh, no, nah, you know that shit is a trap, man. Trouble easy as hell to get into, man. It's hard to fuck to get out. Nah, for real. Hey, man, where the hell did Chico ain't got down on the fly it? Man, fly it. Somewhere working on some shit. Oh, you said cowboy you shit. You know, Chico don't live shit. in, in uh, Atlanta. Where Chico stay at? In North Chicago. Carolina. Some North Carolina? Yeah. Where you in North Carolina? I ain't gonna say it on camera. Okay. Yeah. He's down in the hood. You smart as a motherfucker, bro. You, know, uh, uh, you uh, been uh, doing uh, it. You see it. Hey, clap it up for him, bitch. Clap it up for this bitch, I got it down. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, I hit the blunt one time, yeah, man. Even if, you know, if he said, that's him. No, that ain't nobody business. Yeah, exactly. Right. No, you right. You hit that motherfucker, scream me out, dog. They're right, get me right. You know what I'm saying? No, you right. You feel me? I won't say goddamn rest easy, buddy. Too. Man, you know what I'm saying? I was just about to ask you that. For real. Rest easy, shot low. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, bankhead chair, you know. I love my hood, dog. Yeah. You know, this shit classical. Come on, man. man. We up there with like crit with shit, man. Rest in peace. Tell, tell home, people man. about Born Home and how exactly. big that motherfucker was and just like what that shit was like. Uh, we had and that. Okay, we had a car shop, regular store, barbershop, beauty supply, two gas stations, wing spot, Lunch. grocery store, laundromat, library, school, uh, uh, medical shop, like, you know. When people something wrong with you, go something happen to you. We had a center, we had a football, we had a uh, youth program. We had three basketball courts. All of my projects. Inside that bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're not even talking about the gas station nah. outside that bitch nah. in, the, in, nah. in that box. So as soon as you, there, soon you come out Bankhead and you make it right, this all this shit is right here. Boom. Yep. We didn't have to go. We didn't have to go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like nowhere. Bro, you know, for the longest time, bro, I didn't leave my parking lot. I didn't even know. I start meeting niggas when we got older who say, I'm from Born Home. Nigga, no, the fuck you ain't I'm from well. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, like I stayed around there and I start saying, damn, bro, I ain't never been around though. Damn. I just stay in my parking lot. This parking lot, the parking lot across from me, and the parking lot to the right of me. Cause we played them niggas basketball, football, you know, them niggas we played, played against. You know what I'm saying? You get yourself together all week, we play with each other all week. 
No, nah, low, you ain't, you can't pick low, hell no. Nah. Yeah, then Chad got a goddamn pick of this, hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Then we go play them niggas. So I, that's all I knew. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I love the hood. That the hood, bro. Nigga, boy at home is a, is a, a solo individual hood. Don't produce the most talent out of Atlanta. Mm. Kilo Ali. Come on. Us. Come on. D4L. Come on. Shop Boys. Come on. DJ Pooh. Come on. Half of the um, um, Beat Monster producers. Right out of Bowen Home. Right out of Bowen Home, dog. Man, you brought up That ain't even back here. That's Bowen Home. home. Yeah. You brought yeah. up Shout It Low, man. Uh -huh. Tell us about it. That nigga Low was a celebrity before music. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Low was, Low is a street legend in Atlanta, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's Every, why I got the Burnt Orange Monte Carlo. Fast, I seen everybody uh, know fucking Sean Low. Everybody know the Burnt Orange Monte Carlo. Yeah. Everybody know the goddamn Champagne, Yukon on Deuces, on. where Four Deuces was at. You know what I'm saying? Charlotte was just real, Charlotte was real dope boy. You know what I'm saying? I grew up watching, saying, I want to get a car like Low. But I want to do that shit Low doing. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, shit, they, they had that nigga war. You know what I'm saying? Real deal. And he was a good nigga too. Like, Low was a real good nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know, every, every street nigga got his ways, but Low was a good, genuine, giving, doing shit for, you know, doing shit for niggas. You know Looking what I'm saying? Out. Yeah, yeah. And Low tried to sign us. You know what I'm saying? Low used to give us a thousand dollar a week. I like all of us, for real. Like when we first started. Yeah. I remember when D4Well first got started as a label. You know what I'm saying? This one, this is like in 2000, like in 2000. You know what I'm saying? Cause I used to be at Moot B Studio, Peel. You know Peel? Mm -hmm. Used to be signed to uh, MMG. Yeah. Peel is the one who, who told me I need to start rapping. After Word. after the Lego Art Festival. Shout out to Peel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Peel showed me what bars was, how many bars is the <laughs> verse. How many bars is a hook? How you gotta stack it? How you gotta do ad -lib? I ain't none of that shit. Peel taught me. And the only person who had any kind of studio would Moot B. You know what I'm saying? Shit Talk used to be in there. Shot Rest Easy Shit Talk. You know what I'm saying? Born, Born Immaculate used to be in there. So we were going there and they'd play beats and shit do rapping. And Lil' used to come up there. We had to, we had to go outside when Lil' Nim came. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm like shit, 10 years old. Look at that, low. You know what I'm saying? Like, low Ben classic like that. You know what I'm saying? So when he started rapping, that shit was like, that shit was easy. No brainer. That shit was easy for him. Only thing he had to do was just get better. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nah, for real, for real. Nigga classic. Motherfucking king of bankhead. Real shit. Absolutely. King of motherfucking bankhead, man. Nigga, me and Lo, though. The hood, me and Lo. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. When Lo died, a lot of the hood died. A lot of bankhead died when Lo died. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, my whole, Gooch do a good job of goddamn keeping that shit lit, though. You know what I'm saying? But. Like the energy ain't, it ain't the same no more. You know what I'm saying? Crucial, Pool, Pally. Right. You know what I'm saying? We about, to, we about to bring it back though with the bank. Blue flame. The bank, I see that. Yeah. But that's a script club. Nigga ain't, nigga ain't go, nigga won't go spend no money. Right. At the you know what I'm saying? That was his spot though. Yeah, no, that was his <coughs> spot. Daytime. Oh yeah. yeah. That nigga love the flame. <laughs> Daytime. It right there by the hood. Like, exactly. Like, when I was like, this time, I was like 15, 16 years old. If you want to go to the belt, go with Low. So when Low no say he leaving, we just finna walk to the bounce. Cause that shit ain't nothing but nigga right down the street. Right. And we just wait on Low. When Low get in them we just walk in with Low. You know what I'm saying? But you better get in early, cause when they yeah. close the goddamn door, you're done. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but see, I didn't used to like the hoop against Low though. I, I didn't used to want to be with Low though. I used to want to play against him and shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? He used, to whoop, he used to beat everybody. And Lowe was the first nigga I ever seen in life do the Euro step before Tony Parker, before before Ginobili. Lowe was cold out there on the court? No. Lowe just had that fucking Euro step. step. <laughs> and we used to call him the walk. That's the motherfucking walk. There ain't no walk. I'm taking two steps. No, nah, fucking Lowe, shoot for it. Lowe on me, yeah. everybody shoot for it. Yeah. You in the tournament, we got referee. Lowe gonna say shoot for it. Nigga, you don't run this shit. Lowe, stop, dog. We got referee. Now nah, shoot for it. Lowe ain't crazy. So this motherfucker had to Nah, it was slow. He gonna do it, he gonna take it over your head. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. I'm like, no, that's a walk, dog. That's two steps. Cause you gotta think, he do it off the gather step. You can do that though. But you gotta think, this is, this is, this, is, this is in 99, 2000, bro. Right. 
Niggas wasn't having no gathers there. Nigga, I don't think niggas Man, where else you gonna hear some shit like, like this? It's like 2002, 2001 <laughs> or some shit like that. Shout out to low head, the right, Euro right, step. Right, you hear right. this? Right. This is 85 right. South Show this black exclusive. history. Yeah, yeah. This real Euro black first history. Ever do the Euro step. Run this fact back in February. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Man, I What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P, and I have a very special announcement. Well, I already announced it, but I'm gonna let y'all know again. We are going on tour. It's starting in June, y'all. Look, we announcing it extra early so y'all got time to get your tickets. No excuses. We got LA, Philly, Chicago, Atlanta, Houston. Now, listen to me, because I know how y'all get. We are still adding dates. I repeat, we are still adding dates, but if you see your city right now, go ahead and get your tickets. If you don't see your city, don't worry. We still coming, okay? So make sure y'all go to www.poorminds.com and get y'all VIP meet and greets. We outside, poo. Nigga, June 4th, fuck nigga. you talking about? Oakland Arena, nigga. Yeah, nigga. June 4th, three-headed monster tour on Cetus. Nigga, on, nigga, nigga on your baby, nigga. nigga. What the fuck you talking about? I ain't Hell never seen your baby. Hella niggas, Hell nigga. Hella out there. Hella niggas already got their The bitches nigga. already out there, hella, nigga. Hella bitches. Hella bitches, hella nigga. nigga. Not few, hella but a hella. Hella. I ain't nigga. never seen hella. Nigga on the tail. It's gonna be hella oh, bitches. Hella my mama, nigga. nigga. Oh my mom. Oh my, gonna see this, nigga. Hella oh my mom. No cap. Nigga. And two is not hella. Fuck nah, you talking nigga. about, nigga. Get your tickets, nigga. June 4th, nigga. Yeah. Town business. Nigga. Uh, what it is? Three headed monster tour. Eh. Yeah. Show them the cookies. Cookies, nigga. <laughs> oh, mama. Oh, my mama's made these. <laughs> yeah, Stand on that. Make me a liar. <laughs> Make me a liar. Look, like, I was there. Nigga went in born home hooping with her. Yeah. You feel me? Like, cause I'm I'ma tell you, this is this nigga named Art Leffy. He was the number one point guard in the nation the same year Jason Kidd came out. He was just a street nigga. He used to play with Low all the time. Everybody in this any nigga in the city. What's city, his name? Art. Any nigga in the city who play basketball know who the fuck Ark is. Ask Ark. Ark is a street basketball Atlanta legend. Euro step, nigga, low with the Euro step. Euro low. <laughs> I wish I had some videos of that shit, bro. You look see little little show that with his fat ass thump. <laughs> Do what they got there. <laughs> hey man, what's some of the craziest shit you've seen in Boeing Home? Like some shit that just stand all out to you forever, you'll never forget. Alright, listen. You know, like, you know, I'm silly as a motherfucker, right? I'm, yeah. I'm, really, I'm silly as shit, but you gotta know me, just know that, right? Right. So we used to make J's, we used to get J's free rocks to smoke that bitch upside down. So what niggas with so niggas with <laughs> niggas with get He must have been there. He must have been there cause the he laughing too goddamn. And hard. smoke that motherfucker upside down. Hold on. He must have been there. He started nah, laughing. Too he, just, he, he just he just said cause that's just silly ass shit. <laughs> like, oh, man, do, man, standing on their head. Yeah. Then we just do shit like What the fuck that's gonna do? Dive be? in the dumpster. 
Oh, we had one diving empty dumpster. We only do the dumpster when Damn, make them run and jump the, in the dumpster? Yes. Monday, when the dumpster come, when the man come, they empty the dumpster out. Did this time, yeah. 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 Run that motherfucker and then jump in that bitch. Play, play. Nah, bro. You got to dive in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> run that motherfucker, jump in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that bitch treatment, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like the bitch was a man. Hey, at least they made that bitch empty though. Nah, yeah, you can't eat your trash ain't gonna be right because yeah, they gonna get the trash yeah. all the trash. That ain't shit. Nah, you gotta do that empty motherfucker, Paul. You gotta hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta hit that motherfucker. We gotta hit that shit. Do 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 do. In the hood, boy. I'm telling you, man. Look at that Hell shit. no, man. They were lining yeah. up to do that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, y'all did the dumpster dive already. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Shit, man. Little black, little short black with the bald head. Every time he got done get right, he be like that. I be like that. He look short like. He in the midget. What you call a little taller than the midget? What the midget? A little person. A dwarf. That what it is. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, little people is dwarf. They all. She don't like all little people, so she didn't even want to get in the people, conversation. They all she have got, a dwarf like looking at little people. They scared her. Does, yeah, she'll fuck oh, with them no. at all. Yeah. Bring him baby, in. look no, behind that motherfucker. Get right up on it and say, baby, give me that little thing right now. Why you saying that little thing right now? <laughs> what happened? Is it tr childhood trauma or something? Oh, but they just regular people. They, hey, they can't help that. <laughs> We got less of the opportunities for this Let shit. Let me stop. They're going to be the council right? this shit. That yeah. shit, that yeah. lady, yeah. whoever yeah. that lady was yeah. off camera. Put that bitch in her ass. You know, he had, we had a doctor. He had a doctor. He had that motherfucker, right? <laughs> and she ain't like going to the motherfucker. Because every time he go, he, he want to touch and put on a thing. She should be like. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. That's fucked He had one of them hands. No, but that nigga, he'll hit that motherfucker. And he, he check. When he get right, he check. Like that. If oh. he ain't like that, you just won't see him get like that. Yeah. But listen, it's a piece of funny shit, man. Nigga make entertaining. You know, we used to entertain each other, bro. Like for real. Man. Dumpster diving, man. Dumpster it's diving. fucked up, man. <laughs> the dumpster diving. That's fucked up. Man. I might bring it back. Don't <laughs> leave it where it is, man. That'd be funny now. Do, 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 do. Ooh, who going on, dog? Nah, man, you've been around for a lot of different changes in the music on the Atlanta scene, man. Yeah. I remember you dropping a lot of, a lot of music around. Like you said that time, you know, on the independent shit, just yourself. Mm -hmm. Come on. You know I always bring up face hot. That shit hot. That was that was like, I want to hunt all the time. Yeah, like yeah, that, man. Like you got to catch these dudes before they got to be, you know, before they got to actually catch their own way, waves. Man. Because like, when you're in the streets, like like you really outside, like these niggas say outside now. Yeah. Like in these times, niggas went outside. Outside was dangerous. I go for where you went to. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That shit was dangerous. And niggas went outside and I used to be everywhere. And one thing I know that I don't give a fuck what city, state, where real niggas respect real niggas. And real niggas feel real nigga energy. You know what I'm saying? So I just had the opportunity to brush shoulders with niggas. You know what I'm saying? I just always believed in coming up in the hood. I don't see, I don't see, Nigga, dope niggas. Like, you know, niggas who answer the door for the, the spots and shit. I done seen them niggas become the man in six months to a year. And the nigga who used to be the man is the nigga answering the door. I done seen that a few times. And I done seen a situation where niggas try to shit on certain niggas because they position, and now niggas got to see certain niggas. You know what I'm saying? So I always taught myself, don't treat nobody different. You know what I'm saying? You treat everybody, you treat everybody. You make niggas respect you, how do you respect them? You know what I'm saying? So and niggas always just fuck with that shit, you know what I'm saying? So Walker be like, well, I'm coming to shoot the video, we pulling up, we doing a song. We in the studio, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So shit, shit just be authentic, bro. I'm, then I'm from the city for real, you know what I'm saying? And there ain't a lot of niggas from the city that every side respect, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a lot of niggas, you know, niggas super respected on the west, on the south, on the east, you know what I'm saying? But it's a, niggas on the south don't really fuck with them. Niggas on the north don't really fuck with them. It ain't too many niggas who every side really fuck with, and I'm just one of those niggas. You know what I'm saying? And I just always make sure that I show that same love to the street, dog. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, owe it to the street. Yeah, you actually be every fucking way in the city. Yeah. And that's what I was just about to ask you. Like you said, that's the approach that you take. You ever find yourself in the middle of some shit ain't got shit to do with you? Yeah, like no. on some rap shit. Like you felt like niggas done put you in a position trying to make you pick a side over some shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. 
Like, I ain't gonna make me pick no side. But you give, I'm, I'm yeah, not saying yeah, that, yeah, but yeah. to yeah. make it be like, damn, nigga, you fuck with them niggas. Like, damn, nigga. No, I, like I, a nigga ain't never said anything to me, though. Yeah. Like, damn, now you fuck with them niggas like that, really, <clears throat> like that. Because my relationship ain't based off another nigga. You see what I'm saying? I done been around niggas where everybody in the world said, probably would you hang on, don't hang around, nigga, don't hang on that nigga, and I be like, you ain't did shit to me, my nigga. Right. You know, did shit, shit, you know. You cool, like, you know, nigga don't lie to me. It be what it be. Everybody shit different. You see what I'm saying? I ask you that because, you know, sometimes shit just hit different when motherfuckers hear other people say it. Yeah, but niggas gotta get good at minding their business. That be the Big thing. Fact, niggas be want to be cool with niggas. That's yeah. why niggas don't, that's why it be hard for niggas to choose sides. Cause nigga, nigga, what the fuck I'm choosing, nigga? What the fuck you do for me? What the fuck do you do for me? That shit right. on y'all, I am out that shit. I don't give a damn. Right. You see what I'm saying? Unless niggas just like, shit, goddamn, hey, low. I'm telling you, but don't be around them nigga, bro. You see what I'm saying? And then it's up for me to be like, nigga, you can't tell me who the fuck to be around or, you know what, bro, I, I should fuck with you enough, I'ma just stay out y'all shit. Right. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> So you know, shit, mind you being there. That's the best thing to do right now. <laughs> I ain't got shit to do. You see something should do like this. Yeah, you, can look, you can look like this now. You can goddamn peek and see what's going on, but. Nigga can peek. A nigga gonna look. Yeah, nigga, don't keep looking. Nigga, nigga get the shoe. Niggas don't even duck no more. Nigga like this. They got their phone now. Oh, that big homie shoe? Yeah. They <laughs> big homie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga want to be seen. Who shoot? It's a different game, man. I just seen like never thought we would get to this point. Nah, for real. It's so I ain't never seen so many motherfuckers proud to break the law. And the shit be so funny because you done broke the law on the internet. You can literally go to jail whenever the fuck these people feel like yeah. taking you. And they leave the shit. <clears throat> just like the nigga just broke in that fucking gun store. Stole all them fucking guns. Guess how they get caught. Posting pictures on the motherfucking Instagram. These niggas can't stay out Instagram. They didn't even put night. Man. Take a nigga they, phone from him. Somebody got to see it. Take your phone from him. Boy, they hey. got to see it. Nigga check got down. Nigga check made a little play. Got to post nigga, the money. Boy, got to. And the dope. Before you, you know. even take the money back to the nigga who gave you the shit in first place. Let me hold the rest. So, right. It's on the story <laughs> right. already. Nigga, he ain't made that 300 <laughs> all this <these> jewels. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, this, this 15,000 that your money. Get that man his shit back. You know what I'm saying? Nigga did that shit up his own, man. Yeah, yeah, man. They don't take a picture of all the money. Acting like a nigga ain't never had shit. Now nah, I can't say that, cause I used to be the same goddamn way, though. Y'all young nigga do y'all thing, goddamn, till you get tired of it. Yeah, cause you took that shit way too far. Yeah, I used to do all kind of shit. You don't remember when this nigga burned 100,000 on, on the internet? Don't for the recession. 100,000 on fire, man. Man, burn that shit up, man. Hey, hey, man, shit, man. Fuck my nigga, got that shit, nigga. Hey, hey. You don't remember this shit? No. That before the recession. Nah, man, hold on. That shit was like 20 still then, bro. That motherfucker had to turn his phone off. That shit was on world stuff. I probably, yeah. but hey, man, I can't remember everything. But I still had bro, dread, though, then. You burned took, it? Took 100K yeah, cash. Set it on fire. Set it on fire, man. I called the nigga, I was like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? I was sad after. <clears throat> what, what you, why did you do that? You wanted to be sad? Hell no, nah, I didn't want to be sad. He did that shit, I don't know what, man, what made you do that shit? Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, you wild, it. man. You had it. Huh? Yeah, nigga, we get money. Fuck it. Nigga, we get money. Actually, this shit had, the whole thing came from a jug. It's for real. And then nigga was just like, Nigga, fuck that shit, burn that shit. It was a game at first. You burn that shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying, nigga? All right, nigga, you burn your, you burn your part of three. <coughs> you burn your part, burn mine, nigga. I remember. Nah, that. nigga, you burn 10. Why well, I burn 10 too then, nigga? <laughs> nigga, go ahead. All right, nigga, I'm going to burn my 10. Nigga, fuck, burn all this shit yeah. then, nigga. Burn, fuck this shit, nigga. Burn all of it. Burn it then, nigga. You know how niggas be in the hood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how niggas be in the hood. That's how I pipe you up in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Do all that shit. Hey, nigga got down, did that shit. And then the recession hit a year later. Oh, I, mean, I never forget this shit, bro. I, I will never forget this Damn. shit, bro. But you know what's great? That's the same shit he told me when I asked him. He said the money was evil. I was like, yeah, he done lost it now. Yeah. 
<laughs> nigga said the money was evil, low trust me. I was like, okay, yeah. Yeah. Make sure you're right, nigga. A hundred thousand. Man, right. it's new faces, you probably pull that shit up. It's still online, bro. Yeah, woo. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't do a lot of wild shit, bro. I'm glad. I promise I'm glad we ain't had no internet. I promise. I, 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 I promise. I'm glad we ain't had internet. Hold up, man. Since we're talking about the internet. Y'all was on the early download shit, the ringtone shit. Yeah, we the first nigga to go play my ringtones. Oh, come on. Come on. Very first. Back when you had to pay back, for that bitch, yeah. jam straight. Let's do it, too, though. Get it, though, too, though. That was back when niggas didn't want to get in your business with the ringtone. See, we caught this shit when niggas wasn't getting in your business. So you just, I think us and Chameleon get, was the first mm -hmm. niggas to, to do a million off ringtones. The whole thing. Right? Yeah. Because that was separate from the... From yeah, it was separate from the, the label. It, it was just a whole other different thing. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, niggas was just getting money. Shit was dropping, bro. This one ring tone for $5, nigga. Yeah. 4 dollars Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we probably making about... Yeah, we probably making about... Columbus, Ohio. Uh -huh. In Palace Theater. C Columbus. It's Columbus. Yeah. Pa the, what was it? The yeah. Popeye's Theater? Uh, oh, Palace. I thought it was the Palace Theater and the Popeye's Theater. We going to the <laughs> Palace Theater. Yep. May 21st. Columbus, Not planned. Ohio. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Yeah. Bow Wow yeah. gonna be there. Yeah, and we going to shopping at Eastland Mall. No I'm cap. I'm, I'm going. A little Bow Wow. You just don't know me when you move so fast. Hey, I got the blow. I'm gonna make up to my mind. I'm going to make up to my mind. Hey, uh, uh, okay. Uh, I'm not uh, doing this, uh, Bow Wow. Yeah. Uh, hey. You boys here. Bow Wow gonna pull up for me. Same you too. Hey, he gonna pull up for me. All the way. <laughs> Get your tickets, Slim. May 21st, no Columbus, cap. Ohio, Palace Theater. You remember that nigga, you remember that nigga did this shit in, in the camera? <laughs> 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 you my deal, you know what I mean? Yeah, all the way. Get the ticket. June 10th. Where we we'll going? Chesapeake Employers Insurance, Insurance Arena. Arena. Ah! Man, nigga must have just bought that. That shit sound like a defect builder, man. Yeah, hell yeah, in Baltimore, yeah, and that's, that's in Baltimore, too. Name. That's on the Avenue. Insurance? Chesapeake Insurance, what else is it? Arena? Arena, Chesapeake is yours. I left the word out, but they got they got three bins in Don't one bill. Buy one ticket, <laughs> buy two tickets. Buy how many? Two. And get some insurance while you at it, cause y'all then ain't got no life insurance. Get a few tickets, a few tickets, and we gonna be selling hot dogs. <laughs> That's how they say it. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Hot dogs on the avenue. <laughs> You dig it? Once well, you we, buy a few tickets. Uh huh. You gonna get some hot dirt. And some insurance, bitch. Some insurance. Chesapeake Insurance <laughs> Arena, Baltimore. Yes, June sir. 10th. I can't wait for Baltimore. We're probably making like $2 off a of, uh, ring tone. $1.12 off a of ring tone. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Man, bitch stop calling me with motherfucking everybody shit. Oh, yeah. Bitch stop calling me with everybody ring tone. Bitch, stop calling me. I ain't gonna I pick the, the phone, phone up. Come on, man. Y'all just sold that. Nah, for real, for real, dog. Slapping them off a ringtone. Yeah, yeah. Then we, then we sold, we sold all, we sold all the albums before the internet too. Well, you had, to, you had to goddamn go Physical get it. Physical copy. Twenty dollars CD. Oh, Facts. Right, Ooh. Facts. Twenty. Man, y'all came right in the sweet spot. Mm-hmm. Show sure them did, dog. Y'all just making me think about this shit now. We fucked up some shit. God damn, take me back. <laughs> but take me back, Paul. On 106 in Park when it meant Yeah, dog. We smoked out Jay Leno. Jay Leno had to come get us. What? Yeah, they told us they told us to put the yeah, weed out. I think he liked to be around the smell of weed, though. They told us to put the weed out like twice. But we just kept smoke, fucking smoking and shit, bro. And Jay Leno came in there and said, hey, man. Y'all gonna have to y'all y'all gonna have to go outside with that. We can smell that shit way in the front. I promise. But see, I'm fucked up, cause Wayne and Snoop fucked me up. 
Cause they was smoking there. Well. Nah, I I been seeing Snoop do the shit, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? No, Snoop. It's Snoop. It's Snoop smoke everywhere. Well, Snoop, Snoop, Snoop smoke. But we was on tour, and then I seen Lil Wayne get off the bus and walk to the stage, and all the police was escorting them. And that nigga was smoking a big ass blunt. And them niggas wasn't saying shit. And that moment right there made me say, oh, fuck that shit, I could do the same thing. So I fired me a blunt up. And they ain't say nothing. And shit, it was up. I just, now I felt like, shit, if Snoop Nick and Wayne could do it, I could do it. But we weren't near as big as them, but that's just right. my mind process was like, shit, nigga, fuck that. Nigga, they could do it, I could do this shit too. So we should be fine the weed up, bro. Maybe yeah, I had to buy a cologne. Cause then you know that was after the shit happened, so so you couldn't you couldn't fly, you couldn't fly with with, uh, with a whole bunch of liquid. So when we we would go do promo runs and shit, the label would <coughs> say, okay, I'm gonna buy y'all some cologne for y'all to spray. And we used to be so difficult, we used to be like, hell, not with my own cologne. So we used to make them buy four bottles of cologne every time we went somewhere. Cause we used to be like, I ain't, I ain't trying to smell like low hell, and no, I want I want some of this. So they had to do that shit. We used that shit one time while we there, and we had to throw the ball away. We were difficult, bro. It was niggas. It was niggas, like niggas. I'm telling you, I know this. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? The lack of knowledge and lack of, you know, having somebody to help us understand that shit fucked us, did a lot, did it, hurt us a lot, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shows, all kind of shit. I don't, go, I don't feel like going today. Damn. It ain't no no show. Fuck the money. Fuck the money. Nigga didn't understand, bro. Shit, bro. Shit, me. I wish I could take, like I said, take me back. Take you back. Then we would drop. No crease, no stars. No crease, no stars. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's no it right crease, there. No yeah. That's the one we should have done while we didn't hear bullshit. No crease, no, no stars. No crease, no stars. Come on. <laughs> listen, man, me and listen, I swear. Every, listen, every time music came on, man, this nigga you just start freestyling. The same shit is, that's why, I, that's why when I see you, y'all doing that shit, I should be smiling, dog. Cause I'll be like, man, my nigga been doing knew that, that shit, they, bro. Knew we doing yeah. it. Just naturally. We used to ride around doing it. We used to be in a lack. We used to ride all the way from goddamn Kyle to the goddamn east side sometimes. They catch the mirror, got you hung in a motherfucker. Man, I'm about to eat everything. <laughs> he shouldn't have brought it. Shouldn't have brought it. It wasn't enough no no shit thing. over there to, to eat, my nigga. <laughs> shouldn't have brought them shit. I don't want some of them bitches, man. Hey, talking about, man. <laughs> ah, for real. The blade motherfucker. Them the classic motherfuckers. See, I get them bitches, put hot sauce on them. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Got to put hot sauce on them. Really? No, let me ask y'all this. Big question, really, for everybody in this bitch. Okay. I'm listening. I'm finna grab me some chips, though. They gonna let me know what nigga from, for real. What type of hot sauce? Yeah, see it. You live Louisiana? Louisiana. Oh, that crystal. Gotta go Louisiana. That's the Louisiana. number one hot sauce amongst black people. Louisiana. Y'all nigga just start eating hot sauce, bro. Red Bull. What you stop. want? I mean, Red Bull. Oh, OK. Red Bull. <laughs> Why shit be? Man, I don't give a damn. That's what, that what it was. You know what I'm saying? Red hot. Mm-hmm. Ready for the real hot too? The one with the hot dot. sauce you like? I don't like a hot sauce. Don't fuck with hot sauce. Mm -mm. I'm black though. I got some at the house. You put sugar on your rice? I got some Texas. Hell, hell yeah. Put and sugar on grits. your grits? Yeah. Oh, sugar on my grill. Oh, you I from Mississippi? Texas Pete. You fuck with Texas? I like Texas Pete some, though too. Um, Louisiana. Mm-hmm. The red, with the red bull you said? I remember that. What you put hot sauce on? Nothing. Really? Chicken. That's what you just told me you don't eat hot sauce. What you put hot sauce on? Chicken. That's Some it. seafood shit. Some seafood. You put you put hot sauce on seafood too? Like fried? Like yeah, some fish or some shit? Oh, you should yeah. put hot sauce on anything fried. No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Yeah. I got a few. And then that tiger sauce, but that ain't really hot sauce. The tiger sauce be going. What that is? It's like it's a little sweet or some shit. But it's good. You put that shit on there. It's in the hot sauce out. You like the chili sauce? Greens, cornbread. Cabbage. That go on there. Yeah, yeah. Chips. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All plain chips. All you real hood if you put it on popcorn. You gotta put that on popcorn. It definitely go on green, like you said. You gotta put it on popcorn too. Yeah, popcorn go. Shake it up in the bag. Sugar Kool-Aid, dip your finger in it. Them motherfuckers bunting you trap them bitches. Now I'm gonna have me one. Yes, sir. 
We got Kool-Aid in the trap. How you make your Kool-Aid, bro? I put um I put the sugar in first. Okay. Then the Kool-Aid. <laughs> All right. How then many pans? Add the water. Three. <laughs> Who put three pants? You put who? Who all put three pants to motherfucking Kool Aid in that shit? Yeah. I'm one and a half. I mix flavors. This is how you make it taste like Hawaiian punch. I'm one and, and a half, and one half is always I lemonade. Know, I only know two, bro. I don't know three. Nope. See y'all, y'all don't, don't, don't know how to. I got a gallon size pitcher though. I make my Kool Aid in a gallon. Y'all be oh, trying. Okay. Y'all only making, you know what I'm saying? A little quartz. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Y'all got a small pitcher. Small pitcher. Hot water, cold water. Cold. I'm telling you, boy. Hot water, bro. How the fuck but, you gonna drink? But this is a real game right water. here. Since we talking about it. I mean, unless it's grape. I feel like grape need a little warm. Then when you put it in the freezer, it'd be really grape. By the time you gotta let it get a look, then lay an ice on it before you even start drinking it. I can't drink purple Kool-Aid. I got I gotta it gotta be froze. See? Yeah. That'd be froze. That cup going in the freezer anyway. Yeah, yeah. That cup going in the freezer. Yeah. That cup, if I'm gonna get it right and I got my, my mind know when it's slushy. You, you better believe you're gonna know. I used to put them in that deep freeze. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, quick. Ship me that motherfucking deep free. What? Now nah, niggas start trapping. That the first, that's the first thing you start trapping as a young nigga. Yeah. Freeze Frozen the cup. Yeah. The white, the white cups. Mm-hmm. I mean you just pop that motherfucker out, flip it upside mm -hmm. down. Styrofoam. If you don't flip it upside down, you don't know how to eat that bitch. Yeah. A little styrofoam cup. Yeah. If you try to if you try to peel the styrofoam out, you don't know how to eat it. Yeah, you, no. got, you gotta squeeze that pop bitch, that try bitch to turn out. Upside down. Yeah. Now you can eat this bitch. Now you can eat this bitch. <laughs> now you really thugging. Yeah, you thugging out there. How yeah. much? 50 cent? Quarter. Yeah, quarter. Quarter. Easy. And they gonna, and they gonna be clicking, they gonna be addicted. Yeah, it is. <laughs> nigga gonna go in there and get all the change out your grandma uh, flow. Everything in the car, on the car flow, everywhere. Little boy came to our house so early, we wasn't even out there yet one hey, time. <laughs> that's the, now that y'all done said that, that's what taught me how to count money. Cause you know, you when you're a kid, you don't understand how to count money. So all you know is you need a quarter. Nigga, you ain't know that two dams and a nickel would get you the same shit. So then you just thought you needed a quarter. Once you figured that out, <laughs> mm -hmm. it always did. It's over with. Hey man, them, we ain't never get them back, boy. You take a dollar, go to the store, you come back everything. Honey yeah. bun, quarter juices, fruities, but man, chips. Going to the candy yeah, house yeah. was way better than going to the store. Especially Always. when she opened that goddamn freezer up and you see all them different variations. And you just standing there, she like, come on, goddamn, now hurry up. Mm -hmm. Come on now, don't stand there with my <laughs> freezer on. And she got colors, you don't know what to pick. You ain't never even seen the pink lemonade. <laughs> she just, she don't even make pink lemonade all the time. And every candy lady got a name. Our candy lady was Miss Boo. Miss Thelma was Boo. candy lady. Yeah. Miss Boo. Miss Thelma sound like a candy lady. Miss Jen yeah. had the ice cream in the freeze cups and the freeze puff. This way back, Eastview Project Day. Miss Thelma always been the candy lady though. And the bubble gum ropes. Then Miss Sue. 60 cent, 60 cent bubble gum ropes. Mm. The long motherfucker. Oh man. The tape, the, the coffee table full of snicker bars and Twix what? and Reese cups. Like the stove. Laid out. Laid out, dog. As a kid, I used to wonder how they could be like, how they be living, how they live in there with all them candy bars. I, me too. <laughs> You don't I even fuck with candy. I ain't lying. Milky Way. Everything. Three musketeers. This is one of them What the fuck happened to Milky Way? Do they still stay on them bitches? Yep. Yeah. But I don't know if anybody Zero buy them. Bars. Zero, Zero that shit bars. crazy. Remember when the big candy bar was 50 cents? And whatchamacallit. Yeah. Search. Right Remember Search? That, that Remember soda? Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. Remember the white Pepsi? Clear the pepper. clear one? The clear one? Yeah. That blue one was some bullshit now. Yeah, it was. That blue one was the blue some... blue one was real bullshit. Pepsi blue? Yeah, yeah that blue shit was, was trash, boy. 
Nah, you remember that clear the Canadian water that was flavored? Well, boy, that shit was good as fuck. That sizzling water. Yeah, with yeah. the little cherry on it or whatever. Yeah. That, shit <laughs> that shit used to be good yeah. as fuck. Remember them, them times your grandma used to keep the butterscotch in the goddamn thing? Yeah, thing. Well, she and, had and, the, and, little, and the strawberry candy. The little strawberry. <laughs> that shit is good as fuck. I didn't know they was as good as them motherfuckers are, dog. Yo, grandma gave them to you, and I used to just be like, I don't want this, grandma. And then one day I just got hungry enough and ate that bitch. I said, yeah, this bitch got bitch. juice in it? Them bitches got juice in it? This bitch got juice in it? What the fuck? Them bitches bust. I was so mad, I had ate all them other ones she had been giving me. And them butters got, like you said, them shit, them, uh, them, them creamy ones. You gonna fuck them up? Or them soft the peppermints. Them, them ones in that yellow wrapper. Yeah. Call me crazy, but I always had a theory. That's what good pussy tastes like. What, butterscotch? Like what? And them yellow wrappers. Oh, look. Oh, so much. Taste it like that. You got a hell of a taste bud, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you hope it tastes like butter's guys, dude. Mm -hmm. More like that shit gonna taste like, like, I, like scotch, nigga. That shit was good, though. <laughs> what the fuck was up with the that fruit, fruit That fruit was dope. good. What you mean? Every hey, what's up? It's Carlos Miller. I hope you're having a good day. Try some of these candles from my favorite candle brand, Good Day Sense Candle Company. They are black owned and have lots of different scents to choose from. Use my code L O U S, that's Los, and get 25% off your entire order or offer. Let me see. Oh, yeah, we got scents like vanilla, pineapple sage, which is my favorite, Egyptian amber, all types of freaky shit like black love. You gotta go on there and check them out. So when you see these candles, just know that I'm having a good day. You know, these candles have been approved by everybody that we ever presented them to, from Snoop and even Beyonce posted these on the website. This one right here, I think. So go hit the website and grab you some of these candles. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex T. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And I got some really good news for y'all. Yes, period, y'all. We are about to revamp our whole Patreon. Yes. We got so much new shit coming soon for y'all. Like, we about to be doing challenges. We about to be doing vlogs. Mm -hmm. We really about to be dropping a lot of exclusive content for y'all. So if one episode a week is not enough, y'all about to get some more content on Patreon. Yes, y'all be saying, oh, make the episodes longer. I need twice a week well this is your opportunity to see us twice a week and also you kind of get you're gonna get a look into our lives mm -hmm. and know us on a personal level mm -hmm. so make sure y'all sign up at patreon.com backslash poor mind sign up today there's different tiers so if you want audio only you can just listen if you want video and audio we have that too and also we have a top top tier where you get exclusive access to merch shows all that good mm -hmm. stuff so go to patreon.com backslash poor minds and sign up today Hi. Make 20th. Where we going? Louisville, Kentucky. Man, to the hoop. The KFC Yum Center. We ain't got no KFC yet. But it's going to be at the Yum Center. Is it Is Louisville it? or Louisville? It's Louisville. Louisville. Yeah, definitely Louisville. Louisville. Yeah, Louisville. No cap. Louisville. It's Louisville. Louisville. They nine in the back. I need, I need KFC Louisville. to bring us some chicken, bro. Is that close to the uh, Kentucky Derby? It's in Kentucky. I mean, but is it close to the day that we're going to be there? Hey, man, fuck all that. Bring me some bluegrass. For real. Is Bubba Johnson gonna be there? Bubba Johnson? Yeah. That nigga, Bubba Johnson ride horses? He the NASCAR. Can, can tell you I thought that was a car. No, nigga, that's <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, come to the show. Come to the show a little bit. Bring a horse. Ignore what he said. Yeah. Ah! You can come. You can come. Yeah, baby. You NASCAR girl? Yeah. I thought it could take it there with the car. No, that's. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Daytona 500, nigga. Nigga, Kentucky nigga. Derby. Ain't nobody told me. That's why I won't take you no fucking way. Hey, man. Get, what? get your tickets. May 20th, KFC Yum Center. Shit, take me to the horses then. <laughs> <laughs> she got that yum. Yeah, she got that yum. I always thought a Kentucky Derby was a horse, I meant with a car. Everybody, grandma had the fake fruit bag. If it went on the table, it was on top of the fridge. Oh, yeah. That's to let you know that she was in the church. Like know the, that mean? Like the last <laughs> supper. <laughs> Yeah, like what? the last supper. <laughs> you know what I mean, for real? Yeah. I never knew why they had this shit. You ain't never seen no Everybody man. has a fake fruit. Yeah. Or some damn uh, magnets or little appliances. Hey, every time your grandma got pots. Your grandma had the candles on the table that she ain't never liked. Hey, yeah. Big ass candles. And these kids are never not like the plastic on the sofa. Hell no. Mm. They never know about the plastic on the sofa. 
But you, but you better not move that plastic. The little yep. carpet runner. They ain't gonna never get in trouble for leaving the cordless oh, phone off the charger. With the little spikes. You, gonna go you the flip house. it up with the spikes. You gonna go through the whole house. Yeah, yeah. And you better pick that bitch up when you sweep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How you sweeping? You can't sweep over that. Remember when the cordless phone died? What? Just be in the mid conversation. That bitch beat three times and won't beep, come back beep, on. Beep, beep. Mm. Oh wait. Done. Hold on, we go to the downstairs phone. Hey, hang the phone over stairs. <laughs> what? Bit of time right there, bro. I ain't lying. Hey, get upstairs, hang the phone up. Right? Hang the phone up. I got it. I got it. Oh, you hear it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but niggas really like, but. Back in then, somebody the baby knocked the phone over and picked that bitch up. Just be pressing Check, all the numbers. Just be pressing all the buttons. Hey, hey, hang it up. Long cord. Everybody about oh, that long super long cord. cord. They go all over the whole. The one that got bunched up. The only way to untangle it is to walk far. <laughs> <laughs> you just had to keep walking till that bitch started unraveling right. You on the kitchen phone in the shower? They the bed phone. The kitchen phone. The bed phone. The kitchen phone. The bed phone. Niggas made it happen, bro. The washer and dryer went in the sink in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> the drain was the same. Yeah. But I, that's yeah. what I'm saying, bro. Niggas ain't. Yeah. Niggas go through it, bro. But we living in the future. You remember how bad you you wanted to see it, look at a motherfucker while you was on the phone? Damn, yeah. I wish I could see it. Now, nah, motherfucker, face time. Bitch, don't you, don't you ever FaceTime me. Nigga, FaceTime me. Hey, what kind of weird shit is you on? <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you the worst. When a nigga know you don't got to say he try to FaceTime you. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. What Wait, you doing? What the fuck is you? Don't ever do that unless no. we discussed it. I want to see you anyway. You ever what have they somebody? got FaceTime audio? You ever have, call, have somebody call you and say, hey, I'm about to FaceTime you right quick. No, fuck no, you not. not. I, I really hate I answer this call. I ain't agree to that. <laughs> <laughs> answer this FaceTime. Really? No. Oh, so you ain't gonna answer? I told you I wasn't. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know what it be though? It be somebody that they want to see you. Yeah. Like, hey, look, here go. Hey, I told you I know. Man, if you don't get off this goddamn phone. You got you hate them niggas, but you love them at the same time. You you love them. They mean well. You love yeah. them. They mean well. And they just been they talking mean, about you so much they, that. They gonna goddamn back. They want a nigga to see your head, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they want his ass back to back to back. Hey, bro, hit me real quick. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat you real quick. <laughs> my, that nigga ain't hit me the other day. Shit, just talking to my partner, Carlos Miller. <laughs> I'm like, man, who the fuck is you telling my whole name to? I hit you back. Fuck that. Mm mm. Yeah, he called me. Yeah, Flexing. man. Hey, man. Fight the weed up, man. Y'all hey, gonna, love you. I need to roll one, one more. Bitches out. He got one on. Fight that shit up. I'm bro. hungry, man. Smoking, I'm right back in here. I mean, it's <laughs> chips. <laughs> These bitches busting. What's your favorite snack? Chips. Chips. I'm a chips and sandwich type nigga. I can eat that the rest of my life. Favorite time? What's your favorite sandwich? That goddamn turkey. How you, you, make it, you make it yourself? What you do? Turkey and ham. That's right there together. Turkey and ham. Mm-hmm. Ooh. What kind of bread? Potato bread. Yeah, man. You're, you're a bread? sandwich type nigga. I fuck with that potato bread. You eat yeah. potato bread? Yeah, yeah, What kind of yeah. bread you like? You still get wheat bread, bro. Nah, nigga, I'm that brioche, nigga. Brioche. Mm -hmm. I'm on that brioche, I, 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 I was, See, I was on that. See, my wife put me on that shit, right? Mm -hmm. Then she put me on the potato. Potato better. What? Yeah. Sourdough head, too. OK. But see, that, that potato is like in the middle, where it give you like the bread, where it gives you the soft. softest. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like some. You ever tried the motherfucking Hawaiian roll goddamn um, bread? Yes, sir. Yeah, the bun. Yeah. No, they got for them? They got the loaves, the slices. Oh, Brothers I ain't had that now. Yeah, yeah, I had that. You don't be getting high enough, bro. Just nah, get, I ain't. Just get high as you can. Just go in the grocery store and just walk and just look at shit. I do that, but I, I done went the last few times and I look for Hawaiian rolls. I ain't see them bitches nowhere. I don't know what the fuck going on. And I asked somebody and they was like, it's over by the bread. And I was like, no the fuck it ain't. And it, I ain't seen it. I've been looking for it specifically because I want it. You know, you can't go to Publix yeah. without grabbing some of them bitches. Facts. Like, nah. The wine rolls are too good. The motherfucker good as hell, dog. I ain't seen them bitches. Oh, no, she, my guy, listen, man. Put you up on game. My wife make a slider with the motherfuckers. There you the go. Turkey and them bitches. Yeah. Put that honey sauce on the motherfucker, boy. Might eat a whole pan of them bitches. 
I ain't lying. I believe it. I'm gonna fuck good, dog. I fuck with it, yeah. Listen, when you first started getting hot, did anybody ever got down and got super hot and go to the grocery store and try all the fruit? Right, piece by piece? Yeah, just like, <laughs> just, dog. <laughs> Yeah, 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 He's a bad motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, he's a real savage. Yeah. Yeah, he's real savage. Yeah. He needs to be off the street. <laughs> I don't want him amongst us. <laughs> I'm talking about order that bitch exactly how he wanted it, too. But all that shit. Who got the best subs? At the grocery stores. Publix. Publix. For sure. Easily. Easily. Publix, I, okay, I like the sandwiches they got in New York. If I'm in another place that ain't got no Publix, like from one of them bodegas, mm -hmm. when they do that shit, that shit be slapped. See, cause them niggas be specializing in that shit. Yeah, yeah, and the closest I feel like we got down here to that shit is like Publix. I don't know nowhere else that's gonna really. Yeah. Well, nigga, go to Kroger for the deal. The best sandwich in New York is when <laughs> that you meat get it that you gotta eat immediately, nigga. Yeah. You gotta eat that meat fast, boy. When you get it from one that of the dealers that act like they don't wanna <laughs> make the sandwich. Oh, yeah. We be having attitude. They be looking at you standing down there <laughs> Who making the sound? <laughs> what kind of meat you want? What you want? What you want? <laughs> now how to be dry here like that, you know? <laughs> Mayo. Let it. Tomato. No tomato. All right. All right. What else? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, nigga, you was too angry. I didn't tell you to make these sandwiches, bro. Hey, man, tell me about in the apartments. Come on. In the apartment with Parlay. I started doing the podcast. I was doing OG Talk. One of the reasons I started doing the podcast shit, but like I said, I got tired of goddamn fake ass niggas saying real yeah, shit. Yeah. And you got a lot of stories, too. You know what I'm saying? A lot of experience. For real. And you, you know the goddamn city and I feel like every yeah. time you bring out stories that I don't think nobody else could get out of motherfuckers. I, I, I just think that comes with a level of respect. Like, I just feel like now for real, I'm just getting, getting back all the shit I done put in all the years. You know what I'm saying? Right. Being a real nigga ain't popular, bro. You know what I'm saying? You don't get pats on the back. You don't got them get the calls for this. You don't get the that. And every time niggas see you, nigga like, boy, you the realest nigga. Yeah. Right. So it be hard to got them stay solid with niggas and just keep staying solid. You see what I'm saying? But I just think niggas got to find their way. And now all the shit I done did, me staying solid, name ain't, ain't no bullshit. Now, Pale did and did that. Niggas respect me. And now niggas respect my craft. So now when I hear niggas like, pull up, niggas like, hell yeah, I can't wait to pull up on you. And I feel like niggas talk to me because we we talk we, we understand the same shit. Niggas know I'm from where they from. So it's, it's comfortable talking to me. Right. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I feel like niggas, you know what I'm saying, be really be talking to me for real. That's the only thing I can understand. Are you having fun with it, man? Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely having fun. I yeah. enjoy this shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy Cause you it. Have, I mean, it's like, like you said, I knew you as you were growing into this person. Bro. Yeah. Because it's like, I know you, you ain't really no nigga that was about nah, no talking. Nah, for so real. it's like, to see you on there talking and enjoying this shit, it's just, it's a whole different world. Cause man. I don't found the lane, dog. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I just don't found, I don't found the lane. And I get a chance to do what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Without making it hard. You see what I'm saying? Which talk about my city. You know what I'm saying? You I, still got a lot of shit about you to talk about. Yeah, man, it's, yeah. it's gonna, it's gonna come. That's why I say, I, shit, this, it ain't gonna, it's gonna keep going keep, keep, keep coming. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, they, like you said stories. earlier, they don't know the they don't nah, know a lot of they don't, shit. they don't know it. So that's why I like I, a lot of my interviews, a lot of people really be talking about a lot of these situations. You right. see what I'm saying? But I get a chance to educate niggas. You see what I'm saying? I get a chance to put niggas on game. Right. I get a chance to talk about my city in the real way. Yeah, the, man, the you survived like, through a lot of shit facts. for a reason, man. And if in the team, but if you don't put, if you don't write the history, but these niggas put you out of it, bro. 
You see what I'm saying? Right now, Atlanta ain't what Atlanta. Don't nobody know what Atlanta really is right now because nobody really experienced real Atlanta before everything became every, everything, everything now. Right. The niggas on the east side, the same thing as the nigga on the west side. The same on the north side, the same nigga on the south side. Everybody the same. Everybody got the same gun, drive the same car, got the same chains, the same Rolex watches. Everybody getting the same money. See, back then it wasn't like that. So me understanding chess, you know, tell a nigga how shit used to be and, you know, and sharing these goddamn stories about the city, I feel like that's one of the things I want to do. You know what I'm saying? And then... I be happy. See, like you got to see it from both perspectives. You have to. From the west side, you know, coming up from the hood, then from, you know, a celebrity yeah. entertainer side. And then I give you a side too, from the street aspect and in the musical aspect too. Because I don't reach I don't reach heights that niggas don't reach and neither. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm still here to tell the story. Like this my hey, appreciate the big dog. I'ma just tell, I'm gonna put all this shit. Hey, don't do this. Hey, don't be doing this. I'ma just, you know, I'm gonna get a game. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I like to have lawyers and politicians and, you know, real estate agents. I don't just do just rap rappers. You know what I'm saying? And singers and stuff. I do whoever. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody got a message. And I feel like podcasts are like new books. Because they don't nobody read. But niggas get on YouTube and watch 100 episodes. Yeah. That's real. <laughs> that's real. So you just got to feed them the information some type of way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're going to reach them one way or the other. Facts. You're going to reach them one way or the other. And it's kind of what you said. Yeah. Well, you said you one of your favorite things to do was come back and tell the people about the shit you just got through doing. Thanks. Even when you came uh, to the hood and came back and shit. told them that. They probably got me. They probably got me ready to do shit. Yeah. Like, that. So, like you're doing the music and shit. That's the shit that got you out the hood. It took you around the world. Well, you remember where your first international stop was when you got to go perform on some rap shit out the country? Our first place we went to was Germany. Mm. Now that's a whole different monster. Don't nobody speak English. But only thing they play is American music and they sing every lyric. They know it all. They every know. lyric, the way you go to a German club. If you wake up in a German club and then, and then you're going to thank you in the United States of America until, until the music stops. Right. And you ask somebody something. Man, what say, the hell huh? was you doing if you woke up in a German club? <laughs> 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 what the fuck would you do that? You went to sleep in Atlanta, you wake up in a German, German club. Time, what the fuck? They don't be talking like that, bro. They be singing that shit. When you perform it, they singing this shit. Oh, they yeah, know. yeah. Oh, I think they like me. Uh, they, they, they singing this shit. You know shit, the crazy thing about Germany, though? They don't have nothing that you ask for. No, they got don't. some shit that's almost kind of sort of like damn it. near you lying? remind you of the shit that you asked for. He lying. He lying. And it bored this bitch over there. Bro, I had ordered some steak, and I asked for some steak sauce, right? What they gave you? Right, it, it wasn't A1, it was damn near A2. <laughs> that shit, man, that Hell shit was nah. about, that shit was about damn near this close to almost sort of reminded me of what I was asking them for. I was like, I see where y'all was going with this shit, but this, this ain't, ain't it. it. now showing you just how important having the 85 South Show app is because you was watching this show thinking, oh, they done finally put the shit back on YouTube. No. They was listening. We weren't. We weren't. It's on the app. It's on the app. The rest of this, listen, the rest of the audio is on the app. Now, you got to know what we Woo. said, you got to go get the app. That's the 85 South Show app. It's available on Amazon, Five Stick, Apple TV, wherever you get your subscription. No, it's not. It's, it's just, not on Apple it's just TV? available directly where they sell apps. Or they don't sell apps on Apple TV? It's where well, y'all should fuck with us too, Apple TV. Roku. Hell wrong with y'all. It fuck is Roku. on there. Put it on Roku. Don't say fuck nobody. No, I didn't say fuck them. I said put it. I know we fuck with them. Oh, we do. My house full of Roku's. Oh. Roku the most everywhere. Yeah. 
So subscribe to the app. It's only $8.99 a month or $85 a year. So you get a whole year for $85. Did yeah. you know that? It's $8.50 and then you gotta pay tax. Yeah, yeah. so you know, it's eight. You know, we get them all type of content. You know what, we not even gonna tell them who you got your glasses from until they get it on the app. I mean, hey, you gotta watch the app. The app is available. All of these people that say we should keep putting this on YouTube for free. What about the years of freeness that we've already provided upon you? We gave this away for free for years. Let's move together. Why would you let somebody come year. invest in the show and put it on another network and you're buying their subscription? You don't ask them why you're buying their shit. So don't ask us. We're putting it on the app. Who's over the app? Nobody knows. Get the app. Yeah. We saw what you said in the comments. We, sure did. we saw it. We saw everybody. The good, the we bad. Got somebody to read every fucking comment. And the ugly. So you know what? We folding under this pressure. Sure did. We hear you. We heard you. We hear you. We win and did. We'll That's just get the fuck on out your way. Yep. Just for an hour though. Yep. That's yep. all you get is an hour. So don't you can't complain. Well, where the rest of it? I at? think they should get 37 minutes. Oh, see, we gotta hurry yeah, we up. We just put a whole bunch of ads in between, like long ads, ads, like five minute ads. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Uh, you <laughs> slow motion ads. Slow, slow it down. Waste a motherfucking time. Yeah. Uh, let's just uh go ahead and make sure channel85.com. I want to make sure I read what they wrote. They wrote some shit out for us. These niggas don't know how to spell or type proper sentences, but they trying get to get 85. us to get y'all to buy the app. What, you think we want to read this shit? Channel 85, man. So we can talk that shit, man. Ladies, don't you like this deep thrust, huh? Go get it on the app. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Oh, That's right. On the app. Uncensored, unfiltered, and edited. Can you believe that? I'm talking about with actual production in it. Thanks. Jump cuts, yep. clips. All types of type of like exclusive shit that they don't even know that we did. They don't even know that we got a show where we be cooking like exotic foods and shit. Okay. That's on the yeah, app. Sports show. Yep. Talk show, documentary. Chico got a handwriting class that he teaches. <laughs> Nobody passed it. Cause Nobody. that's why the shit look like right. this. But we're working on it and you can see it on the app. It's they didn't, the e app. didn't even tell them about the tax course that we had uploaded on there. No cap. They don't even know that we, we got we a whole show about Wall Street. And a $5,000 on the app. Right. <laughs> and we got the alternate ending to the color purple up there. Oh, oh man. No cap. We got the raw edition, all the uncut, all the bloopers. We got all that. Right. It's on the app. So if you want to see some shit that you know they trying to hide from you, go to the app. I'm leaving though. Channel85.com. Go get the app. You got an hour for free. We gave you what you wanted. Now give us some subscriptions to the app. $8.50, $8.99 with tax, $85 a year. Channel85.com, 85 South Show. Get the app. Well, see, this is what they don't know. The app really $3, but adjusted for inflation is $8.99. Yeah. What well, low said, get the app, man. Stop bullshitting. We out of here, man. We're not about to keep working all this time for. We work for free. We are going on app, baby. We are going on app. We on your way to fly. Oh, yeah.